Do you want to learn more Korean? Visit TalkToMeInKorean.com to get the best Korean lessons for you. After watching this video lesson, you can talk to yourself more naturally in Korean. So let's go! Hi, I'm Hyunwoo from TalkToMeInKorean.com. This is another episode of Korean Q&A. And the Q that we got is very interesting. And here's our or my A. So the question was from Twitter and Esmeralda asked, Hello, I have often heard some native Koreans say verbs in their dictionary form like 먹다, to eat, instead of conjugating the verb. I was wondering when it would be appropriate to do this and why. So, 먹다 is not the best example because it's an action verb. So when you conjugate it in the exclamation form, which we will talk about in this video lesson, you do conjugate it in a slightly different form. But I see where this question is coming from or potentially where the confusion is coming from. So uh, when you hear people say so and so ta using a verb, it's not not conjugating the verb, it's actually a form of conjugation. And this is one way to show exclamations and show your surprises. So let's learn all about it. So the bottom line first, the basic rule first, you put ta after the verb stem of a descriptive verb, like, you know, basically adjectives. So 예쁘다, 크다, 작다, they're conjugated to 예쁘다, 크다, 작다, when you are making exclamations and basically talking to yourself, thinking out loud. And when you're doing the same thing with action verbs, you either put 니은 다 or 는 다, okay? So that's the rule. And when you are talking a little bit about 니은 다 and 는 다, you put 니은 다 after verb stems that end with a vowel and verb stems that end with the last consonant are followed by 는다, okay? So, for example, you want to say, wow, this is pretty, okay? Wow, this is pretty. There are several ways you can say this in Korean. The most neutral way to say, wow, this is pretty to someone that you are next to would be, 우와, 이거 예뻐요. 우와, 이거 예뻐요. You could be talking about a phone or a flower or anything. And when you say 예뻐요, you make it clear that you are talking to them. You are giving a fact, okay? You are making a statement for the other person to hear and respond to, okay? 와 이거 예뻐요. But you can't really say this when you're alone because there's nobody to talk to, right? So another way to say, wow, this is pretty as an exclamation is 와 이거 예쁘네요, okay? 네요, 예쁘네요. And by doing, by saying this, 와 예쁘네요, you are sort of acknowledging, acknowledging the fact that this is pretty, 예쁘네요, or even agreeing with the other person that this is pretty, 와 예쁘네요. The person might have said, oh, this is pretty, right? Please tell me it's pretty. 와 예쁘네요, acknowledging and uh, partially agreeing too. Another way to say, wow, this is pretty, we're still talking about wow, this is pretty, is 와 이거 예쁜데요? 와 이거 예쁜데요? So this is essentially a question. 예쁜데요? 예쁜데요? Some people put a question mark after this or just a period after this, but you are asking for reaction or response. Okay, 이거 예쁜데요? What do you think? Do you think I am right about this? So these are three different ways to say, wow, this is pretty, but here is today's topic. 우와, 이거 예쁘다 is one way you can say this. Wow, this is pretty. 우와, 이거 예쁘다. So by saying this, using the exclamation conjugation form, you are basically thinking out loud. This is not necessarily um, something that falls into any politeness level. So even in front of your boss, even if you're in front of your mother-in-law, father-in-law, you can say, why you yeppuda? Because you are essentially talking to yourself. It's not rude to say it in front of somebody who is older than you or higher than you in ranking, okay? So, why you yeppuda? Do you get the idea? Let me give you two more sets of examples like this and then give you more, even more examples of so and so ta or ninda. So when you wanna say, oh, this is so heavy, this is so heavy, 
the most neutral way to just blatantly deliver the topic, deliver the um, fact is 이거 진짜 무거워요. 무겁다 is the verb in the dictionary form. 이거 this 진짜 really truly uh, very 무거워요. That's how it is conjugated in the present tense. 이거 진짜 무거워요. You are telling the other person that this is really heavy. 이거 진짜 무거워요. But if you want to acknowledge or if you want to say, oh, I see that this is really heavy, you can say 이거 진짜 무겁네요. You can only say this after having tried you know, to lift something. Okay? 이거 진짜 무겁네요. And then if you want to add a little bit of um, element of surprise, maybe, you know, shock. 이거 진짜 무거운데요. The other person asked you to put it in the car trunk and then you're trying it, trying to lift it, but then it's too heavy. It won't budge. So you can say, 이거 진짜 무거운데요? Or 너무 무거운데요? You are asking for some kind of response, reaction, all right? Some remark. And then um, the last form is what we're talking about today. 이거 진짜 무겁다. 이거 진짜 무겁다. 무겁다. You're talking to yourself as an exclamation. Okay, that was the second example. One more example, okay, one more set of examples. Um, when something has been completed, something is done, something's ready, you say 되다, okay? So uh, a phrase that is commonly used is 다 됐어요, 다 됐어요. A download, a talk to me in Korean audio track download, an ebook download, some, some kind of movie download is over. You can say 다 됐어요. Hey, the download is complete. 다 됐어요. Or your rice cooker finished cooking your rice. 밥다 됐어요. Some dish is done. It's ready. 다 됐어요. Anything that has been completed, it is ready to be presented or served is 다 됐어요. So you can say 다 됐어요, plainly giving the uh, fact to the other person. And you can also say 다 됐네요. 다 됐네요. I see that it is done. And then 다 됐는데요. Hey, um, it's done. What do you want me to do next? Okay. And then when you're by yourself and when you're just, even when you're with someone else, when you're exclaiming, you can say, 다 됐다, 다 됐다, 아, 다 됐다. So this is a very commonly used phrase, okay? So that's the difference between these ways, these uh, different forms of conjugation. And let's focus a little more on the 다 ending and look at some examples. So let's say this is something that I wish were happening right now. I wish it were snowing because it's so, so freaking hot outside. So, um, 눈 온다. 아, 눈 온다. So you could be talking to other people too, but technically you are talking to yourself, basically. You open the curtains and you see the snow flakes falling down gently, you know. And then you can say, 아, 눈 온다. 눈 온다. It's an exclamation. And you might think, oh, 다? It's in the dictionary form. It is not. And you never say 눈 오다. It's wrong. It's, it doesn't exist. So 눈 온다, okay? Because it's an action verb. And you can say, hey, the bus is coming. Ah, bus 온다. Again, you could be with your 부장님, 사장님, 과장님, anybody, anybody that is uh, higher than you in ranking or older than you, you can be talking to yourself. Oh, the bus is coming. Ah, bus 온다. 저 갈게요. Suddenly switching back to 존댓말, right? It's totally appropriate. It's okay. The bus is coming. Bus 온다. Bus 온다. You can say the other forms like I uh, talked about. Bus 와요. Giving the fact. Bus 오네요. Acknowledging it. Bus 오는데요. Hey, what do you want to do? Right? But basically, exclaiming is bus 온다. And then you can say, ah, I'm so tired. You can uh, say in Korean, ah, 피곤하다. You could, you could be just sitting on a chair, on the couch, or lying down on your uh, bed. Ah, 피곤하다. You could say, ah, 피곤해. That's okay too, but as an exclamation, 피곤하다 is very common. And when it's really hot, ah, 덥다. Or, 아이고, 아이고 덥다. 아이고 덥다. Okay? So, 덥다, in this case, it's a descriptive verb. 덥다 is not something that you do, right? It's something that is or something that happens. Um, so, Tapta is exactly the same as the dictionary form of the verb, so I think that can be confusing. And when you say, hmm, it's strange, my one million dollars uh, was here, where is it now? 
이상하다? 이상하다? 여기 100만 달러 뒀는데 주연이가 가져갔나? Maybe 주연 took it. So 이상하다? Hmm, strange. You're talking to yourself. Uh, and when you're looking for something, some object that you were looking for, like your phone or a remote. 아, 여기 있다. 아, 여기 있다. 여기 있다. 여기 있다 is also a very commonly used set phrase. So people usually shorten it and pronounce it as 여기 있다. 여기 있다. Like three syllables. Of course, when you write down, you have to say 여기 space 있다. 여기 있다 is the pronunciation. Though. So, oh, it's here. So uh, let me just go over the exclamations. 눈 온다. It's snowing. Talking to yourself. 버스 온다. Talking to yourself. Thinking out loud. The bus is coming. 아, 피곤하다. I'm tired. 아이고, 덥다. 덥다. 이상하다. 아, 여기 있다. Okay? So, I hope this video cleared it up. And next time you see someone um, on Twitter, a lot of people actually use this form um, because they are not talking to someone in particular. They're just thinking out loud, right? Many people do that, use this uh, ending. So, please pay attention to whether somebody is using this ending or using a uh, yo or yo, the normal present tense uh, ending as well. So that's it. If you want to learn more Korean, please visit our website, talktomeinkorean.com. You can find thousands of lessons there, both free and paid, and you can see our books on our um, store page. So please check out our textbooks and workbooks as well. 감사합니다. 다음 시간에 만나요. Bye!